Utah after we had to go to Phoenix and then now we're in Utah and now we have a four hour drive. What? <laughs> now we have a four hour drive until we get to Yellowstone. The fam is still alive and well. what was actually five hours but that's okay and now we're in Montana this is where we're staying and we're gonna try to figure out how to get in now good morning from Yellowstone I feel like one of those like artists that's like good morning Dallas anyways it is our second day at Yellowstone we slept in the cabin last night it was good no complaints no complaints and today I think we're just like driving around and looking at stuff. I guess how it works here is like you drive, go see something, and then you drive like half an hour and go see something else. It's not like everything's really close. And I don't really know what we're going to see, but my mom knows. So as long as mom knows, everybody else is going to be okay. But yeah, so we'll see what we end up seeing today. It's going to be fun. So don't Do not stop or block any portion of the roadway. Bear while driving, find the next pull out, park slavery, and walk from it. Watch. When John Ford said, Won't you hop on in the stagecoach, baby? Gonna take you for a spin. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Carmen, what are the things that we're gonna see here? You know, I don't know. There are four different geologic features that we're going to see here. Okay. I don't remember what they're called. Uh a fumarole. A oh wait, it's, it's coming back to her. A geyser, a fumarole, a pot, some kind of pot thing. Yeah, like a foaming, foaming pot or something. Yeah, mud pot. I don't know the other. There we go, close okay. enough. We're looking at fountain paint pots and just kind of looks like bubbling clay. Looks like oatmeal. You heard it from Chris, it looks like oatmeal. That's so cool. Getting real. <laughs> oh my god, are you supposed to get this close? called the devil's cauldron the dragon's cauldron oh yeah, we're all struggling because the elevation here is like really high so you get out of breath a lot quicker but yeah we just like hiked up here I don't know I'm just gonna be honest like everything's starting to look the same I'm not saying that it's not like beautiful but it's just like kind of all looks the same you flip the script we're on the Tom's Trail now, and we're a bit concerned because it looks like it's about to start raining. It's thundering right now. But luckily, I have an umbrella, <laughs> but my umbrella can only fit basically me. So <laughs> we'll see. And it's like 300 steps down, but then you get to see the bottom of a waterfall, so it better be good. Oh, right and these, okay. this is a very normal sign in Yellowstone that is not comforting. Saturday night, kind. 
We just did this trail called Uncle Tom's Cabin or something like that and it was like that's where the waterfall shot was from which that was pretty but the hike up was literally insane like I'm still out of breath Yellowstone tip in my opinion don't do that because it's literally like it was n it's not worth it just don't do it <laughs> and now my dad's like oh we're gonna do another one I'm like no I'm gonna go sit in the car because that was ridiculous Devils in Another beautiful day at Yellowstone. It's colder than yesterday, which makes me even more excited. But today is basically just like the same thing as yesterday. <laughs> We're gonna like get in the car and go on this loop around Yellowstone and look at stuff. I don't know how much I'm gonna film today because I filmed a lot yesterday. And like I said yesterday, like everything kind of is starting to look the same. <laughs> so it's like how many clips of like a geyser can I put in? But if there's anything that's like different and unique and cool, I'll film that. So. I know I said I was gonna stop filming geysers, but apparently, what did you say? This is like, this is the largest one in the world. The largest geyser in the world. Cal site something spring I don't know but I have to say one of the most beautiful things we've seen do you agree Carmen yes majestic <gasps> you hear it from Carmen direct quote majestic I'm gonna be on that vlog a lot aren't I uh, yeah because you're the only one that says anything <laughs> so just give me me and you I'm only the commentator <laughs> Carmen <laughs> professional tour guide available for hire <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> today's our third, fourth day, I don't know. But basically today we're just like, it's a travel day because we went to Yellowstone and then now we're going to the Teton. I would just like to put in my thoughts about Yellowstone. Two things, one, I never saw one Yellowstone, just saying. Two, they advertise with bears everywhere here. There's bears on every corner, like bears, bears, bears. And we saw no bears. That's all I have to say. I mean, it was really pretty and it was amazing and I loved it, but I'm just saying, Yellowstone and bears, and we saw neither. <laughs> let me love you in the morning. There's a lot of snow, so much Like the today air. you it never know. And because I step this way I find the garden Like today you'll never know Or you may claim that you found me Like today you'll never know Like today you'll never know Well nonetheless I must confess that I'm the best I've been left to save you Your situation must be dire So we have made it to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm pretty sure that's what state we're in. And what you just saw in the vlog is that we were like in Jackson Hole, the city or something. And we went up a gondola something. <laughs> and we went up to like this top of the the top of this mountain and it was really cool and tonight I think we're just going to eat so I think I'm gonna end the vlog for the day here because it's been a long day of traveling and I have not been feeling good I think just with like the elevation and everything it's just just didn't feel good tomorrow we are feeding baby bears yes you are that right we're feeding baby bears and we're like floating a river so that's what we're doing tomorrow. So now the vlog is gonna jump to tomorrow. It's 8.20 in the morning and I didn't go to bed until midnight. 
but it's okay because we're going to float down the Snake River. So get ready for a lot of glossy shots of scenery of the Tetons. The situation must be over the creek and wanted we speak but I kind of left you I still haven't met you Well I may fall into your dance Like today I never know Or we may be with a good heart Like today I never know We are looking at all the baby bears and the big bears getting ready our cubs. Like today, I never know. Well, nonetheless, I must confess that I'm the mess. Has been left, or oh, nonetheless, I must confess I'm the mess. Has been left to save you. Today is our last day of vacation, which is so sad. I'm sad. But can you believe that we fed those baby bears? Like, I was literally dying. I was like, this is the cutest thing I've ever done in my life. And fun fact, this isn't really fun, but just a fact. They weren't like really like furry, or I don't know, they weren't like really soft like I thought they were gonna be. They were kind of coarse. But yeah, I just kept thinking of Paddington, and I was like, this bear is literally Paddington. Anyways, our last day of vacation, all we're doing today is just traveling home. So I'm not gonna film it because. This video is already going to be so long, so I'm just ending it here. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. We had a really good vacation, and I think that my next video is probably going to be from London. <laughs>